Hi guys, as you can tell by the title of the video, I am back with another haul because clearly I have a shopping problem. But in my defence, I picked these things up all the way throughout January and it was my birthday so I got vouchers and money that I wanted to spend. So I'm just going to jump right into it and show you what I got. Where do I start? The first thing that I got was from Forever 21. I actually ordered it online because I've been wearing so many light and nude coloured outfits that I felt like my black backpack didn't really go with anything. So I wanted a white one. The only annoying thing is though, it literally is just a giant hole. There's not even like, sometimes bags will have a back zip up pocket and little front pouches for keys and things like that. This is just a hole. But it is pretty big and it will fit a lot of things in it and it wasn't too expensive. I'm going to have prices and sizes of everything listed on the screen anyway. So yeah, this is the first thing that I ordered from Forever 21. So hopefully it will match a lot of my nude and light coloured outfits now. And next I went shopping in Birmingham and I picked up a few things from Primark and one of the things was this, is it a necktie, a headscarf, piece of material, a handkerchief, I don't know what to call it, I got this piece of material, um, I'm going to use it as a hairband, it's just lacy, not lacy, it's just silky and embroidered with flowers, I think. And yet again, it is nude coloured because I like all of my outfits to be quite light. So I thought this would be really cute when my hair is up in a ponytail or a burn to just tie up kind of like 60s style fashion. Is this how you wear them? I can't tell if I'm doing it right. I'll probably have to do look at some YouTube tutorials because I feel like I'm wearing it wrong and I've never had one before so I thought I'd just pick it up on my way out. I did pay for it though. That makes it sound like I just walked out of it. I did pay for it. If you watched my previous haul video you will know that there's been a gap in my life in the shape of some nude heels that I fell in love with and then had my heart broken because they weren't in my size. So when I was walking around Primark and I saw these really nice nude heels I thought I had to get them. They're pretty similar actually apart from all the gold detailing. Stop rattling. So yeah I picked up these nude shoes in a size 5 which is my size and they were on sale. I think they were £6.50 or whatever the price listed on the screen is so that was pretty good. Now I finally have nude shoes in my life. Yes. Yes. The next item that I got from Primark I wasn't very sure on because it's not my usual style and I've never thought that I could pull these off because I'm quite short but I really liked the colour. That's not really a reason to buy something but um, I got these nude culottes so they tie up at the waist and they're rouged is that the word? Rouged at the back and then they're just wide leg nude clots that come to your shins. And I tried them on and I still wasn't really sure about them. But they were they were the kind of item where I was like, if I don't buy them, I'll regret it. So I, could, I should just buy them and see if I'll wear them. Is that a thing? Like, you know when you don't buy something and you go home and you think about it for ages, like, oh, I really wish I brought that. I thought that these would be them. So... I just felt a bit daring, I thought I'd buy them anyway and try them, they weren't too expensive so if I don't wear them it's not that big of a deal but I really liked the colour, thought they'd go with this top actually. They're very spring and summer so I can't wear them yet anyway but I'm excited to branch out and try some culottes, they're very very comf- they're really comfortable, I don't they're very very comfortable. I thought I'd give them a go. I'm gonna just give them a go and try something new with my style. And if I look short, who cares? I 
I don't know how I feel about them still. I haven't made up my mind yet. And the next thing I got was actually from Hollister because I don't actually buy a lot of Hollister clothes but I always like to go in there because it smells so nice and I like the vibes. It's all dark and California like. So even if I'm not going to buy anything I like to just go in there and experience Hollister vibes. But I was actually looking around and I saw this little checkered off the shoulder crop top. I don't wear anything off the shoulder because you've probably seen in previous videos if I get hot or flustered or any kind of emotion my chest and my neck will come up in blotches. So I like to actually wear high necked things that will cover it up but then my boyfriend was like I'll oh, just be a bit daring and just see how it goes, try it on. So it was really cute and I brought it anyway because it was also on sale, I can't remember how much for. I think it was £18 which isn't much of a sale but for Hollister that's alright. Have I got makeup on it? I think I've got fake tan on it. I feel like the theme of this video is me trying styles that I'm not used to. So we'll see how it all looks on the try on section. I definitely wouldn't wear the top and the clots together though, that's just... wasn't even wearing it properly. <laughs> so next, the actual reason we went to Birmingham shopping was because we were going to get birthday presents for each other because mine's on the 25th of January and Ben's is on the 31st so we thought we'd just buy each other presents when we're shopping. The present that I wanted was sold out so I ordered it online but still that's not the point. This is what I wanted as a present off Ben and it's a little Swarovski, Swarovski, Swarovski how do you say it, Swarovski ring. The last one that I had kind of got a bit old and battered so I wanted a new cute one that I could wear every day. So yeah, it's just really small crystals halfway around the ring and it's really tiny and dainty. The last one I had had a crystal sticking out, like a larger one, so it wasn't as wearable but this one I can wear every day and it's really cute. Fun little story, Swarovski is my favourite jewellery brand because my nan used to collect the little trinkets, like the little models of figurines of animals or like Disney characters or whatever the little crystals used to be and she used to have them in a cabinet. And when my nan passed away she gave me £100 because I was supposed to be going on holiday before she died. So she gave me £100 to spend on holiday but then she died so we couldn't go. So I decided to spend that money on my first piece of Swarovski jewellery and I got a really sweet bracelet with lots of crystals in the shapes of bows. And ever since then I've just been collecting their jewellery, it's really special to me, it's a really special brand and I love their jewellery, it's all so beautiful. Maybe one day I'll do like a jewellery collection. So yeah, I got this ring off Ben as my 22nd birthday present. The next thing I ordered online because I got some vouchers off Ben's parents for Debenham. So I actually wanted some Charlotte Tilbury makeup, but then I realised that Debenhams don't sell Charlotte Tilbury makeup. I was thinking of Selfridges. So I looked online at some clothes that I might like and I've been wanting to get a fur coat. But then I'm like, am I cool enough to pull off a fur coat? And then I brought a fur coat and it was not kind of the fur that I was going for. But it's still quite nice anyway. And it's this nude beige camely crop jacket which is really soft and but on the inside I kind of wish it was fur on the inside as well because that'd be so cozy and warm it's not that thick and it's not what I was going for but oh well it's it's a start we'll see how I feel about it it's always nice to have like a nicer jacket that you can wear when you're going out because jackets can sometimes ruin your outfit so this is quite a nice more dressed up jacket that I could wear and obviously I got it in nude because all of my outfits are light Cozy. And then I got, oh they're covered in fur. Problems of having a cat. No, that was worse than I thought. Please excuse the fact that they're covered in fur. I don't even think that's cat fur, I think that's just they've been washed with something that's furry and now it's all over them. But also from Debenhams they were selling pineapple leggings. And I was thinking, I love wearing leggings but they're always see through. 
So if I buy gym workout leggings instead, they're going to be better quality and not see through. So I picked up these pineapple ones from Debenhams slash Miss Selfridge online and I love them. I've already worn them which is why they've been washed and covered in fur. They're just like, you know when you can't be bothered to make an effort you just go wear leggings and a hoodie. They are perfect. Or you can make an effort and you can wear crop tops and stuff and it won't show your ass. So I'm really glad that I picked up those because most of my life I am in comfy clothes so that will come in handy. I have another shoe dilemma to tell you about. <sighs> so I was shopping on Debenhams and I didn't know what I wanted and I thought, oh, I've just brought a white bag. It'd be nice to have some more nude coloured shoes because a lot of my shoes are actually black or brown. So nude ones would be nice. And then I came across these gorgeous white ones and I fell in love with them. I'll insert a photo here. So they're white and they've got patchwork embroidery on them and the heel's not too high and I just fell in love with them. So I ordered them. I ordered those shoes, the ones right here, and let me show you what arrived. Do these look like the white boots that I ordered? No. I don't think you should get any more opposite than white boots. They're black strappy heels. I was like, what? And I checked my receipt, I checked my email, I checked everything and I did order the right shoes. They've just sent out the wrong ones. So I've been in kind of a email debate with the people from Quiz about getting the right shoes sent out to me. So I'm sending the black ones back today and they said they're gonna send out the white ones when they've been restocked. So eventually I'll get the shoes. Why does shoe drama always happen to me? I don't have normal drama in my life, but I have shoe drama and shopping drama. <laughs> kind of says something about the person I am. So yeah, that was another haul. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and that you don't mind that I've uploaded two similar videos recently. You guys seem to like my fashion videos, so they do the best out of all of them. So let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see next, and I will see you next time. Hi guys! No. Oh, my back just cracked. Was it an... That was awful. I need a massage.